I'm Mark Porter McGee. I'm campaign manager of Mind the Gaps and COO at CONCAN. Week three of our campaign update is all about data. Connecticut, where you sit today, is home to the largest achievement gap in the country. What does that mean? It means that one in 10 Hispanic high school students in Connecticut will graduate with the skills they need to go to a four-year college. It means that our eighth grade low-income students in Connecticut are performing at a fourth grade middle income level. It means that only one state in the country is performing lower for low-income eighth grade math than Connecticut and is Alabama. And it means that Connecticut's African-American students are performing at the level of students in Jordan, Egypt, and Palestine. And if that doesn't make you angry, you're not paying attention. Connecticut's achievement gap is the most urgent social and economic crisis we face. And we know about it because of the analysis of data. Here at CONCAM, we analyze the student achievement data, and we help put this issue on the map by bringing these facts to the public. Now, three, weeks and three months into this campaign, we have a bill in front of the legislature, SB 1014, that would open up this data for teachers and students alike. You know, in the private sector, their businesses are using data in incredibly powerful ways to help boost the bottom line. We need to use data in similarly powerful ways to boost student achievement, and that's what SB 1014 would do. But, you know, we only have two weeks left in this legislative session, and this bill, SB 1014, still has not been brought up in the Senate. This is the time when we need to join together as advocates to help push this bill forward and get across that finish line. We need your support now more than ever before. If you give today to this campaign, we're going to put that to use in helping to drive this critical issue to victory. We need your help now. Please click on the Contribute button at the bottom of this page. Please give as generously as possible. And I look forward to updating you on the success and moving this through the Senate one week from today.